Congregation B'nai Israel made history when President Phil Wallace turned over the gavel to its first woman president, Adele Morris. Cantor Irving Zummer joined our synagogue family. Our 60th anniversary was celebrated with a big show, showbiz and shulbiz. Presidents Jerry Phillips, Don Silverberg, Lorraine Maller, Dr. Paul Cohn, Dr. Barnett Stein, and Eric Luden followed Adele in that order. Mark Goodfriend was welcomed as youth director, and the management of the synagogue was taken over by Leonard Gottler, employed as synagogue director. The synagogue did its part in the development of Menorah Manor in 1985 as an outstanding Jewish nursing home adjacent to our campus. The beautification campaign culminated in the installation of the gorgeous synagogue windows, our windows of wonder. In St. Petersburg, very nearby our successful Dali Art Museum, a new museum, a hands-on museum, Great Explorations, opened its doors to the delight of children and adults alike. St. Petersburg, with a dream of attracting Major League Baseball, built the St. Petersburg Dome, and a sold-out audience attended its fantastic grand opening ceremonies. But time after time, the city was disappointed in its attempt to bring the Major Leagues to our area. The Vinoy Hotel, built in the early boom days of the 20s, was reopened as a luxurious resort hotel in the summer of 92. Space travel with the space shuttle became routine in spite of the Challenger tragedy of 1986. The world was changing all around us. Mikhail Gorbachev, a different kind of leader for the Soviets, and Soviet Jews, including Anatol Sharansky, left Russia by the thousands. The Berlin Wall came tumbling down. The Soviet Union and communism crumbled, and democracy came out a winner. The United States was the winner in the Gulf War. And the election campaign of 92 brought us three candidates to choose from, with Democrat Bill Clinton the winner. Broadway was invaded with mega musicals, and in 1987, Les Miserables, a story of revolution, tearing down the barricades, and people yearning to be free. <laughs>